Hey guys, Jonathan here with TLD, and I got a chance to take a hands-on first look at Apogee's upcoming one for iOS and Mac. As a follow-up to the original one, which I actually currently own and really enjoy, the second gen features an improved die-cast aluminum body as opposed to a plastic body on the original one, and then you also get new circuitry and a new mic capsule, which both ultimately lead to improved sound quality. Now I know the original one can be hacked to connect to an iPad with Apple's USB camera connection kit, but you also missed important things like phantom power for condenser mics, and it also drained battery insanely quick. Now the second gen one is designed from the inside out to work with iOS devices, so it'll actually charge your iPad, iPhone, or iPod Touch when you're using the One's DC adapter, or you can even run it remotely off of a couple AA batteries. Now like the original one, you get a built-in condenser microphone so you can get high quality recordings, without even having to buy an additional microphone if you didn't want to. You also get two analog inputs via a breakout cable, so you get a quarter inch high Z instrument input with up to 45 decibels of gain, and then you also get an XLR mic input with a stellar mic pre that gives you up to a massive 62 decibels of gain. Now unlike the original one where you can only record one of those inputs at a time, on the second gen one, you can now record those two inputs simultaneously, which is definitely a welcomed improvement. So you combine all that with Apogee's 24-bit 96kHz A-D and D-A conversion, you get arguably the best audio interface for under 400 bucks on the market for both iOS and Mac, which also doubles as a high-quality DAC. Now, like I said, I do currently own the original one, so I'm extremely excited to get my hands on the new one, test it out, review it, do some comparisons and some demos. So if you guys want to see that, you guys can let me know by A, hitting that like button, or either leaving me a comment. And then B, you guys can make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the full review, and obviously more tech content to come. Aside from that, thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys want to get in contact with me, Twitter, Facebook, Google+, all those links are down below, along with what equipment I use to record my videos. Thank you guys again, and I will see you guys later.